Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I'm so happy to have every single one of you guys here. My new subscribers, my old subscribers. Speaking of old subscribers, how many OGs remember this Spider-Man blanket? Does it look familiar? Does it bring back any, any feels? It should. In today's video guys, I am going to review Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I'm only going to go over the products that I have. Now there is products I tried when I was at work. As you know, I do work at Sephora, so we did have a crazy launch this weekend, and we got to test out the products, put the foundation on, put the all the other stuff on. I'm really just mainly going to go over the products that I have that I'm wearing on my face, and without further ado, let's get started on this review. If you would like to see it, then please keep watching. First, I'm going to start with the foundation. I just want to commend that girl on 40 Shades of Foundation. She wanted to make sure everyone felt beautiful um, and that they were included in any makeup product there was. Now, I will say I think her line right now, her products out, are, that are out right now, are kind of geared more towards people with like anywhere from normal to oily skin, like normal combo or oily skin. I feel like dry people, you have to really moisturize to use like her foundation um it kind of problem I ran into with the foundation is it separated on me but I wasn't able to try it with my beauty sponge I wasn't able to prep my skin the way I typically do so that could be some factors I also didn't shake it which you're supposed to shake it and I didn't shake it when I tried it. I just pumped it on my hand and did it so that could be factors so don't just take what I'm saying like that it could very well be a beautiful foundation. It just didn't work for me because I think um, I just didn't use what I would normally use. I didn't shake it. All that. Um, yeah, so moving on to the things that I have. The product that I tried on what, or that I put on is the Fenty Beauty Contour Matchsticks that they have. My color is in the shade Mocha. What's really cool about these matchsticks is I don't have another one to show you, but you can. They are magnetic, so you can collect all of their matchsticks and just have them all together. As you'll see in the video, I'm going to put a clip over so you can see what it's kind of doing. It is, once you blend it out, it looks really nice. I really like this product. Now, it is a cream contour, so for me, cream contours in general are just harder to blend out, no matter if it's a little creamier, a little drier. These could be a tad bit creamier. They're a little more on the dry side, but I think when you do a stick contour, there's... I think that's why, but not justifying it. It could be a little creamier, but once you, I mean, you're going to have a little tough time blending it out. You'll see in the video, but on the skin, I really do like it once I get it blended out. So I didn't, I usually set it with powder, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks without setting it with powder just to kind of get a full review of what it looks like. So yeah, definitely, I do really like these. Um, I'm not crazy about the highlight stick, just because I'd rather use a concealer than like an actual like highlighter stick. I feel like concealers have um, better coverage and are creamier. But yeah, as far as the contour sticks go, I really do like these. Moving on to something fun that I got is her highlighters, or they're called Kilowatts, which I think is a cute name, and they just look like this, it's holographic packaging. And these, you guys, are no joke. These are so pretty. As you can see on my cheeks and as you'll see in the video, this is not nothing to play around with. So there is a more subtle side and there is a more intense side. Um, I actually, believe it or not, some people like one or the other. I actually like both of them because I feel like um, the subtle side, you can't really see it, it's hard to see. I like to put the subtle side like on my cheeks and like I even put the subtle side mostly on my nose. And I feel like it gives a nice sheen or like a li nice glowy look without looking like, you know, like really highlighted. So it gives a kind of more natural look to the cheeks and to the nose than just putting straight like glittery highlight on. And then the more intense set I like to put on the high points or my cheekbones. And as you can see, this doesn't, this doesn't lie. I mean, look at it. I don't have Trophy Wife because as much as I think it's a dope color and I would love to pull it off, it's just not going to work for my skin tone, so I'm not going to try to make it work for my skin tone. But I definitely think it's super dope of a color. Um, it's super blinding. 
Um, it's definitely for more deeper skin tones, and I love that she included a highlight for every single skin tone. There's one for the palest of the shades to the darkest of the shades. So, yeah, that is her Kilowatt highlighters. I am obsessed with them, as you can tell. That is what I used on my face. And, yeah, I just, I think they make the skin look really dewy and pretty without looking like oily. I, like I said, I think they were trying to trying to market towards more oily skin because as someone who's been oily and someone who's dry now, I can kind of understand why some people want to cater to oily skin versus drier skin because with oily skin, I feel like it's harder to take away that oil than versus dry skin where you can add a bunch of oil to make it look better. So it's easier to add than to take away. So I don't, I'm not mad at Rihanna for like trying to cater to oily skin. I'm actually really happy that she did that. I mean, of course, I want her to cater to every skin tone, but she's just starting out. So I think she did amazing with the highlighters. The names of the Kilowatt are Mean Money and Hustler Baby. That's the one that I got. Moving on to the very last item, and let me just have a moment of silence for this item. So now that that moment of silence is over, let's just really quickly talk about this guy right here. This this lip gloss is the prettiest lip gloss I have ever encountered in my life. I don't like lip gloss. I'm not a lip gloss girl. Usually, most of the time, I like to wear a matte lipstick just because I feel like it stays longer. My hair doesn't get involved in it. Lip glosses are sticky. No, no, no. You look at this and you're like, okay, this is going to be like, it's going to be too dark. It's supposed to be, it's claimed to be a universal lip gloss. So when you look at it, you're like, oh, I don't know. It looks like too rosy or too dark. When you put it on, does it look too dark? Does it look too rosy? And I don't know what she did. There's like little flecks of glitter in it. can't see the glitter on my lips, but it's just the prettiest. It's not sticky. Not sticky whatsoever. It just, oh. I don't know how to hype this lip gloss up enough for what it deserves. Because literally every skin tone I have seen this on, it looks gorgeous on. And you would think, oh, it's universal, so it's like a clear gloss. It's just, that's it. No, honey. No, 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 no. This lip gloss, if you had to get anything from this line, lip gloss. If you don't like lip gloss, get it. I promise you. You will love it. It doesn't make me feel like sticky. It doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing a gloss, but it just looks so luscious. It makes my lips look, it makes them look bigger than what they are. It smells good. It's like, I just can't get it up. So yeah, guys, so that is the lip gloss. And overall, I think she killed it on this line. There is some things that I'm a little hesitant about that I'm not crazy about which is why I don't currently have them. Um, but I definitely recommend you going into Sephora, swatching them, testing them out on your skin, and kind of getting a feel for it before you buy it. But overall, I think she killed this line. I think I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. And if you had to get anything, I would definitely recommend the highlighters and the gloss. Those are like my top, uh, even over the contour stick. I love these. These killed it. So yeah, that is my final thoughts on the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like reviews, you like seeing me test these out on my skin. And yeah, I am in a hurry because I'm late. I'm supposed to be going to get lunch or dinner with my mom. And I'm running late. So let me wrap this up by saying definitely think most of the stuff's worth it. And I'm glad you guys are here to watch it, and I love you. Hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!